hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about how to use variables in the selectors in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please subscribe it so let's get started so in today's video we are again going to work with examples.pinautomation.com website right and what we are going to do today is we are going to click on on these you know on these links and for which we will use variable in the selector so that as soon as the you know the variable value will change accordingly it will click on different page right so i will go back to the power automate desktop and for this as you know that website is already open so I will just go to the browser automation and then I will use launch in Chrome because that site is open in the Chrome browser I will choose attached to running instance because the website is you know already accessed and then I will specify the title of the web page so here I have chosen the title in the advanced section you have an option to specify the timeout so it is 5 seconds by default and then the browser instance will be stored in the browser variable right so I will click on save and then what do you what do I want to do is after attaching to that web page I want to wait for let's say two seconds before clicking on those links and then here I have an option in the you know inside the browser automation click link on web page and here I will specify the web browser instance so for now I have only one browser you know instance that is why browser variable is already selected but if you have more than you know one browser instance then your variable can be more than one as well now what do I want to do I want to click on a link right so I will click on add UI element And now you can see here that tracking session or dialog box is opened now what do I want to do I want to highlight on these links right so I will specify the highlight the first link and then I will press ctrl and left mouse click and you can see here that the you know element is captured in the advanced section you have uh, an option that wait for the page to load so you can enable and disable accordingly and if a pop-up dialog box appears then what do you want to do so let's say if you want to close that pop-up you can just click select the close it and if you choose you know press a button so you can specify which button you want to click and here also you have an option to choose the variable name just in case if you have you know stored the button name in some variable right so I am going to choose do nothing because uh, there is not going to be any pop-up so I will not choose it and inside on error when you click on on error you will see multiple you know options or options available the first is like retry retry action if an error occurred so you can you know how many times you want to retry this action just in case there is an error so let's say if I say two times and at the interval of five seconds so you can just specify it here as well but I will keep it disabled for now I will click on return to parameters and then I will click on save okay 
now I will go to the you know UI elements and here you can see that uh, we have this element and it has captured the path of it right I will double click on it so now you can see here that the complete path of that element is present here so what is happening here is this number one is going to change for example if you are going to click on third you know link then this the value will be two right and for that you need to you know store this number into a variable right so what I will do here is I will just click on update first and then I will click on close and then I will click on run and as you can see it has clicked on that link right so now let's see I want to click on the third link right so now I will try to make it dynamic so I will go to the variables and then I will use set variable right and here let's say I will specify saying that page counter and make it three because I want to click on third right so because this value is three it will click on the fourth link right because the index is starting from the zero I will copy this variable what and I will click on save so now I will go to the UI elements and choose the element right and then I will double click on it and so let's say I want to for example replace this variable right so because this variable is you know this number is present inside list item you know li element so I will highlight this and then I will come back and replace this with the variable so the variable name is page counter and then I will click on update and then I will click on close you will see that it will not work right so let me go back to the web browser right and then I will go back to the power automate desktop again and let me run the bot so bot is running now it will attach to that web page and then it will try to click on that link and here you can see that it is giving error right the reason behind that is because when you are going to use a variable right so you cannot use it this way you cannot you know directly select this element and put the variable right I'll keep it one and you have to disable it now when this is disabled you can come back here okay and then choose the variable and then you can click on update now when I will run the bot you will see that it is able to click on that page 4 right as you can see here so it has clicked on third element right so this is how you know this this is going to work so this is how you can choose a variable inside a inside a selector right now let's do one thing I'll go back to the power automate desktop 
and now what I will do is I will try to create a loop right so inside a loops I will choose loop right and here so let's say I want to start it from 1 incremented by 1 and end to 10 so which means I want to keep on clicking uh, the pages at least till the 10th uh, tenth page right and then I will click on save and then I we can select this action and move it inside the loop and then I will go to the UI elements double click on this element double click on the path and then remove this variable and click on this variable section and choose loop index and now I will click on update and then I will click on close and I will copy this wait action I will select the end and then control V so it will paste that action I will go back to the web page and I will click on the first link you know so the page is on the first one and then I will go back to the power automate desktop and then I will run the bot so the expectation is that it is going to click on these links and then it will click on the next one so as you can see it has clicked on two now it has clicked on you know three four five so this is how you can use the variables in the selector in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and there are a lot of other videos which i have created in power automate so please watch them as well and if you have any question please post it in the comment section and please subscribe my youtube channel as well thank you for watching have a great day